Hey! What's up you guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Okay, I'm a little excited because today I'm doing a house tour of me and X's new house. Obviously, he's not here due to border control reasons. I will get into that in the next video that I'm doing because you guys had a lot of questions about why we're not together at this time of my pregnancy. Trust me, we wish that we were, but due to country borders, we are not able to at this point, but he will be back very, very soon. So in the meanwhile, while he's been gone, I have been moving into our new house, trying to make a little homely. I am seven months pregnant. I entered my third trimester about two weeks ago, and obviously I can't lift a lot, I can't carry a lot, I can't really do anything. <laughs> so this moving process has really only been possible with the help of my mom and my dad and my friends. They have been helping me carry, move, set up, put up pictures, lamps, everything. I have just basically been directing them and they have been helping me. So shout out to my friends and family for helping me because it would not have been possible without them. Basically, a little bit background info about this house. It's in Copenhagen, Denmark, which is where I will be giving birth and also where me and X and our baby boy will be spending probably majority of our time. So everybody, another background info, everybody in this building got their key on the same day. So we literally all moved in at the same day, which was the 1st of February. So there's a lot of drilling and working and going on. So if you hear that in the background, that's a slide. But yeah, so background info about the house. It's in Copenhagen and this is where we will be spending probably majority of our time. We're probably going to be back and forth to New York as of work, etc. But this is the house that we got for now because I'm giving birth here. And we're probably going to spend around the first year my maternity leave while we apply for family reunification with X here in Denmark. So I'm just super excited that we have this is like my dream house to be honest it's all new everything is just completely new newly renovated this whole area is completely new everything is crispy clean ready to move in we didn't have to paint a wall or do anything it's like it was just crisp so i love that fresh kitchen fresh bathroom you gotta see the whole thing <laughs> but yeah i'm just super excited it's super nice to be able i always wanted to decorate my own house so I'm super excited of course I have X with me on FaceTime always making sure that he's okay with everything I'm doing to the house so it's a team effort even though he's not here um, and I'm leaving certain stuff like the TV and stuff like that up to him when he comes here because I don't really care about that and that's stuff that he wants obviously so yeah, let's just get right into it. Let me show you the house. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. <laughs> so that was the front door, the entry. We have a cute little thingy here where we can see who's outside so nobody weird comes in. <laughs> we get straight into the living room. So, no, sorry, not the living room, the dining room. So we have a cute little dining room table here. I just wanted some color in this area, so I put a little cloth on it. We have this frame. Um, obviously, I want a picture of me and X in there. I think it's gonna be the picture, one of the pictures from our wedding, but for now, it's just that because I don't have anything else. This new clock, we have a little cute area over here. X, he bought me that. Um, for like a birthday slash move in present right before he left in the corner We have some things that I have to get hung up, but they are over there for now Like I said, it's not done at all, but we are in the process Okay, my cute little shopping cart because literally around the corner 
is the shopping mall, grocery store. So here we have a cute little terrace situation. Summertime, that's gonna be super cute. They're planting a bunch of fruit trees and putting benches and chairs and stuff inside of that house. So that's gonna be super nice. I'm hoping we can have the baby shower in there for April. Now we get into the kitchen. So it's cute, everything is new. Everything is brand new and cute. So that's the situation we have going on here. A lot of coffee machines. This is just my little key wallet everyday type of situation. Um, this is a cute little setup that I just made. We have our little Jeff Koons balloon, <laughs> balloon dog. And my new favorite, ooh, I love this. It's from a Danish designer called Classic Studio. And I'm freaking in love with it. So yeah, we have that. And this is because our fridge, they have a, it's like a thingy. So we can't hang anything on the fridge. So I hung this because this, you can actually buy a pen where you can write little notes on it. We can put up uh, magnets and stuff on this if we want anything on there. Okay, so that was that. This is the little closet area. I just built, got a rack. Oh, some um, jacket stuff, shoes, bags. In here is all electronics and in here is just vacuum cleaner and stuff like that. So that's just that little area. Moving on to the bathroom. Oh, I love the bathroom, guys. Yes. I think this is my favorite part of the whole house. So yeah, the bathroom is so cute because it's little, but it's like perfect. We have washer and dryer upstairs i have toilet paper and i bought a little robe for when x comes and i bought some obviously stuff to clean with and this is the shower i love the shower it's really nice and cute I bought like a thing to hang up here. I don't know what it's called, a shower curtain, but I still need the little thingies to, okay, anyways. And who do we have here? The toilet, a little golden swooper, um, laundry. <laughs> we have a whole closet back here where we can have all our toilet stuff, which was really, is really nice. I just have a little candle. A little good mood spray, you know, if you've been to the bathroom and you want to spray a little something. I'm not like very into the like artificial smells. So this is like just, it's like an orangey smell. It's really cute. Okay, moving on. These are some really cute pictures that I bought on the New York High Line. And I just love them. Um, I had to hang them, a little Banksy piece. You are loved. Yes, I just love them. And now we're moving on to the living room area. So here we have our little couch area. Um, my favorite probably unit of this whole house is this special made, limited, only one of a kind table from Hornslet. He's a Danish designer. He gifted this to my dad, so and my dad gifted this to us, so it's really cute. I love it. It gives a vibe to the house. I bought my new little vase that I love so much. It's just a cute little area. I have me an ex right here from when we first fell in love. <laughs> and then this is like an old vintage cinema chair. Super cute. Hang Marilyn over because I felt like it went perfect in that corner. Here we have just a bunch of books, um, books, pens, documents. One is X's documents, one is mine documents. So yeah, this is just like a little practical area where we have everything stashed. Here comes my favorite art piece of the house from a Danish painter slash designer called Art Pusher. I love this piece. Um, it goes so well with the red 
in this corner. So it's like a cute little area. It's not huge, but we're going to have a TV over here that X is going to fix when he comes. And um, yeah, it's just like such a cute little area. We have another terrace out here where you can actually just step out into the street here. We're going to put some chairs and stuff out here. Like I said, it's a lot of building going on. So yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what's going on right now. And then we have Boo Boo's Corner. So this is basically our baby boy's corner. This is where we're gonna change his diapers. I bought this to put in everything that I need to change him. Um, we already have a bunch of toys that people gifted to us. We have some little books over here that I really love. This is so cute too. But yeah, my mom already bought him toys. <laughs> He's getting so many gifts already that I'm scared for when he actually is here, how it's gonna turn out. But that's his little corner. We have his clothes, everything down here. So that's really cute. And that's about it. You come back to this area. And yeah, guys, I'm just so freaking in love with this house. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the bedroom. <laughs> so this is the bedroom. Obviously, I haven't had have a lot done yet. I just have a bed. I bought some boxes for shoe storage, bag storage, and I already filled all of them up. So I don't know where X is gonna have his stuff. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They have built-in closets when we came. So I took up two <laughs> already. They are like packed. I have a lot of clothes, guys. And like I has I put I had to put like Oh my god, three or four boxes of clothes in the basement. So this is like just what I can wear during my pregnancy, after pregnancy. I put all my heels, all my tight dresses, all the stuff I can't wear in the basement. Mostly for storage space, but also mentally so I don't kind of like... Like, I've just heard a lot of women, a big part of their postpartum depressions can be that they're all day looking at clothes they can't wear anymore, and it's making them depressed. So I was like, okay, let me just put all the stuff I can't wear for a while in the basement so I don't have to look at it. So I only have, like, t-shirts, hoodies, baggy clothes, sweats, like the type of stuff that I'm wearing now, sweats, t-shirts. Here I have a little more, but also these dresses, maternity dresses that I can wear. Here we have some sheets, um, but that's basically it. And then I saved a closet for X because he doesn't need as much space as I do, but he still has a whole closet ready for him. I put up a little shelf here and I want to put some candles and make it really nice. Here we have the window, a nice big bed, and a cute mirror with us in the corner yet again just the original photo we got taken it was at a def jam event in new york so yeah now that's it <laughs> i think i showed you guys everything more or less um it's not huge <laughs> at all but it's perfect space for us and our baby boy I can't wait for X to come. I can't wait for our baby boy to come. And yeah, I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> all right, guys, so I hope you liked the little tour of our house. It's not done at all yet, but we're definitely getting there. I'm also waiting for X to come so he can put his input in the house. I really love it here. It's just so nice and pe peaceful and I hope you guys liked what I did with the place and also enjoyed the little tour I did for you guys. Um, there will be a lot more content on this page. Obviously, it's hard to do content when we're not in the same country. <laughs> but um, when X comes back, there's a lot of content coming and I will keep this. I also am doing a bunch of other stuff for this before he comes back. So keep subscribing, keep like, keep commenting, stay tuned, and yeah, I love you guys. Bye! <laughs>